In this episode, we're going to make the design for the ship part, and we're also going to add a lot of area triggers to make the ship part feel a lot, lot better. Let's move on to the next section of this level. And this one, we're going to have to give a different background color because that one doesn't really fit that much. I might actually go into a more vibrant color, maybe something like that. And uh, yeah. Also, if you want to, if you see stuff like this that just looks weird, just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. And uh, yeah, like that looks much better. The box is there on its own. And if you want to go fancy, you can add, I don't know, like this one maybe on top of it, but really small like that, like as an extra sneaky thing like that. It's pretty nice. And yeah, we're going to add a lot of air deco. Don't worry that this is still uh, unfinished. But yeah, what we're going to do is going to move on to the next part. And this one is going to be interesting because we're going to have to change the design because we can't use the same design throughout the whole level because uh, the level is going to get too repetitive if we use the exact same style. We're going to have to use a similar style, but not the same one. It is important to keep the similar style so that your level has a theme or a style or an atmosphere that is uh, defined by your own level. And this one is going to be an interesting one because uh, I kind of want to use a very simple block design like this one, for example. And actually, I might give it a try and see how it works. So we want to use this one like that. And then we want to give it the same color as the other ones because uh, we're going to change. Actually, I'm going to give it a completely new color. So brand new colors. Now we can set them in here with the new background. Make sure you're in there and kind of like a blocky, like a very wood, wooden type thing like that, perhaps. And what I want to do is I kind of want to have something like this. And then what we're going to add is we're going to add uh, these guys. These guys, are gonna, they're going to be black. So it kind of looks like you are somewhat in a factory, if you want to say. And I don't know why, but I'm having a hard time making wood color. I don't know why, but I've, I was never good at making wood color. Maybe because this one needs to be a bit darker or something. I don't really know, bro. Which is why I just go to the sewers, wrap tops level, and just steal the color from there. <laughs> Okay, so you want to make sure that also the this one looks pretty good. So we want to do like that. Okay, so this one's interesting because this one's going to have a block like this. And then this one's going to go like that. Add it in here. And then don't forget the pixel over there. And then add that on top. And it looks bad because we forgot that we don't actually need the pixel. Because this is a different style. Like that. And then these guys go like this. And then that one we copy and paste and like that looks pretty nice. All right, cool. Now there's, this is a very different style. This is way too different than the other one. So we're going to have to yoink some stuff from the old one to make sure that it looks the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the, like any type of structure from the top. So now we can copy and paste from it and kind of change some details to kind of give it the same vibe, you can say. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, so this is nine copying the color eight into blending. So what we want to do is we want to copy, what is this one again? 16 and 17. So we want to copy 17. So a new color, you copy 17 and you go blending. So nice. And now we want to make sure that we take a look at the values in here. So this one has that and that one has this. So this one is 0 0.8 saturation of this one so paste color and then this one is gonna go uh, 0 0.8 and then that one is plus 30 okay this one is gonna we're gonna see 0 0.58 though so that's 0 0.58 like this and yeah i think this is pretty good looking you can put it on the block and you can already see that it looks much much cleaner so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste this one. Just make sure that you actually layer it because this is gonna this might actually become a problem. And they are already layered. That is that is pretty good. All right, nice. So this is uh, honestly looking pretty nice, I must say. And I'm not too sure, but I kind of feel like if the block was kind of black, was it would be much better. Does it? Yeah, I think if the okay. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna keep these guys as defaults. But as soon as you enter here, we're going to change the uh, not the background, the object color to black. So this way they go slowly into black, like so and black. Nice. This looks much cleaner than the other one. 
And uh, what we're going to do, I'm actually thinking of adding a, you know, an area trigger over here because this could work really well. I'm going to have to see. I'm just going to make sure to not make this too bad looking. And uh, But the, the effect is going to look excellent at the end. Trust me. And so what we're going to do is because these spikes are like that and different than the ones that we used there, I actually want to use a spike that I saw in here. And it's this one. This one is like a more... Uh, wide spike so we want to copy the properties or the values from that spike put the spike in here and paste everything so that we can see how it looks and it doesn't look bad this looks pretty good the red spike on the orange thingy looks pretty good and now what we want to do is we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to paste these guys in here and make them hide and now what's important is to make all of this a group ID of fun because you guys remember when we moved this for the first time using the move trigger, when you guys were pretty brand new. And now if you give it the group ID of one, you guys are going to see that it's going to move up as well. And I kind of feel like this is a bit too boring with the background because the background we're going to have to change into a different one. Maybe, maybe something like uh, this one could work better. So the background change color, you can just place it in here through the triggers and click on it, edit object, and choose the background that you want. And now you can see that it's a much cleaner looking background. But you guys saw that there is like a harsh cut. There is a harsh cut in here, very weird. So there are different options to actually hide this visual bug. Not bug, it's like a visual, I don't know. I don't know how you want to call it, but it, it really happens for a reason and it makes sense why it happens. So I want to slowly go into black in here. So that when the background changes, you don't actually notice it. So like this, this should be pretty good. So now the background changes and you don't actually notice anything at all. Actually, I'm kind of thinking maybe this block, this background would be much cleaner. Okay, I'm not too sure actually. If you're not sure, just leave it for later. If you are not happy with what you're doing, just leave it for later. It mostly happens because you don't feel like we're doing that right now. I don't really know. But just move on to something else. I also forgot to copy the particles from there. So I'm just going to yoink these guys on top of here. Like so. And this looks really, really, really nice. Okay, don't forget to make a... Uh, what's it called? Like a reserve, you want to call it. Make sure you remove the group ID. And now we added the particles. So you have to kind of assign the group ID again to everything that is on it. And now they move. Now I kind of want to experiment with the... What's it called? The area trigger but before that i actually want to also add the ones above and the ones on the bottom and this one should be pretty simple because we can just copy and paste so like that but this one has to be a bit like this and that make sure you remove the group id of one and now like this looks pretty nice and this one like that okay so this one i actually just straight up copy and pasted it so that's pretty good and do this and uh, that looks pretty nice Okay, so now what we want to do is instead of having this one move up and kind of manually doing everything, we're going to add an area move trigger. And this is very, very dangerous to use because you really got to know exactly how it works in order to apply that effect. But I can do a quick explanation. So the area move trigger basically changes the position of certain objects based on one single object. So let me show you a quick example. So if I have the, this line right here, I give it the group ID of 38. Then I go over here and do 38. So you want to click on the area move, edit object over here, put in here 38. Ignore all of this weird stuff. We're going to get into that. But then you want to do P1. So P1 is the center object. So this is like the object that is going to determine where these guys go. And now we're going to do on a length of 20. We want to move it on the X and Y. We want to move it up by 20, like that. So now you guys can see that if I if the player gets close to them, they are kind of going to move all of them kind of individually. And that is awesome because all of them use one single group ID and literally one single trigger. So that is very helpful to make the level looks, look really appealing without uh, doing too much work. And by doing that, you also open yourself a lot of opportunities because now... If you, for example, choose this one instead, you guys can see that they are going up. Or if you choose these guys, they are kind of going to move away from you, as you guys can see. And that looks really, really nice. So 
yeah, that looks pretty good. But what we want, what we want to do is we want to have a resemblance of the effect that we had and we're gonna do that by basically adding these guys below let's say this was our platform and we want to move it up by 20 we said right then what you want to do firstly is you want to use this one i believe let me see i always keep mixing these guys so also make sure that the length is not at zero and actually it was the wrong one you should use this one instead so now the blocks normally are below and then they come up as you approach them and we don't want them to come up as soon as you approach them we want them to kind of go before you come so we were going to use the offset to go kind of to the right so maybe 50 to the right and now before you even come close if you move everything backwards you guys are going to see enable uh, ignore damage now you guys are going to see that they are going to come already before you arrive so if you move this one let's just pretend this was this object and now you guys can see that it's already moving up and pretty good but there's still a lot of adjustments that needs to happen like this one and also maybe a little bit of a higher length maybe like that also an ease out you can add just some random stuff and now they are moving much much smoother and much cooler so this is pretty cool and all however this could lead to a lot of issues because for example if you have something like a let's say a shading on it like a black one we copy and paste it of course for the group id and like that you guys are going to see that there is some weird stuff going on so the block is kind of moving before the all the other things which is the reason being that well it all depends on the distance between the block and you the player so this one is much, much closer to the player than this one. So this one moves first and then that one goes ahead and starts moving, which is why if we use the time warp trigger real quick, just to slow the game down, we're going to see that, yeah, it doesn't look good at all. So what we're going to have to do is use a block design that basically that has all the blocks that are basically centered like that so that the distance is always the same so that we don't get any of these janky stuff and we're gonna try and give this one a group id of 38 and see how that's gonna look like so now you guys saw that the the it was perfect the movement was perfect and now what's cool about it is that you can actually place it as you want so i want it to be here and then it automatically moves it down and as you approach it comes up again as you guys see this doesn't look bad at all and the reason for that being i actually use a block design that doesn't require you to do any changes or anything like that i used very simple block design that basically also has the center objects that are all the same or uh, far far away from you the same that's like the distance between them and you is the same and now we have uh, yeah this looks pretty good now we have these guys moving up and I kind of feel like the length should be a bit higher. And with that, we have a much nicer. You can play around with these values, see what you get. But I also have a tutorial on that one specific trigger if you really want to know more about it. But I think for now, it's pretty fine. So next up is we're going to do the exact same thing, but for the ones above. And we can't use the same group ID because uh, we are moving them upwards. So we don't want to move these guys upwards. We want to move them downwards. So we're going to give them a group ID of 39. And then we're going to simply copy this one and make this one 39 and make this movement down we go like that. This way we have a much cooler thing. I'm just going to move the camera up a bit so you guys just can see what's going on. And like that, so you guys can see that all of the blocks are actually coming, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so now you have used two area triggers and you are getting kind of familiar with the editor. Only a few hours in, you are doing excellent. So what is next? What do we want to do next? Well, now I could, I would say, let's just fill in these guys and see where we can end up. So we can do this and then that and then perhaps more something like that maybe maybe something like this would look cool and now we want to copy and paste that one kind of put it on on these guys right like this pretty good like that nice and now what we want to do is get rid of these guys and simply add those instead we want to give them the group id of 39 and for the ones in here i have a good idea i want to do something a bit like that yeah so it's kind of going up and down like that would look pretty cool make sure to like add like variance instead of just making a straight line you can just be a bit more creative 
to you know just increase your chances of getting a featured level because your creative creativity plays a big part in this and uh, yeah like that and then we want to do this and actually make sure you select everything and like that looks pretty good remove all of these guys remove the spikes and put those guys instead remove this one all the unnecessary stuff we don't want and now yeah i think we're almost done with the below blocks so i also want to add this stuff in here like that boom boom this could actually look cool because it's like a pillar i don't know why but pillars always look nice so copy and pasting them for this length is actually totally okay all right so like that and we just want to make sure to change the group id of those guys to 39 instead of 38 because they're going to be moving downwards of course so now for that one we're going to yoink this one and actually copy and paste and we're going to do something like that make sure to move it like that maybe a bit slightly to the left so that there's more variation and uh, what we want to do next is simply just copy and paste this one put it over there and actually that one's going to be a bit higher just for more doesn't feel like it's too copy and pasted right and for that one we're going to have to do something like this but without these guys so select all these guys and delete them and those guys we don't want as well these two we don't want and like that's very nice so we could copy and paste this because it's been a while since we used this so we can just do that i mean it's been a while from like the levels view and not our view so yeah like that and this is actually starting to look pretty good and now i feel like we're done we just have to make sure to give these guys the group id of 39 instead of 38 so this is a very nice effect that you can do on your own and yeah it gives you some uh, very easy okay so you guys saw that there's a problem this one was straight up copy and pasted from another group so these guys have to be 39 and not 38 oops i added them to the wrong group id okay so these guys are 39 not 38 and now you guys can see everything is coming towards me we're using only two triggers instead of doing that manually that is awesome just make sure you don't overuse this because people now know that this thing exists so it's gonna look lazy so make sure you don't abuse that just use it for like one part or so and one part that is cool as well that's it for this part in the next episode we are going to add a lot more stuff into the ship part including a custom background and a bunch of random items